Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel as we are back for another Doctor Who review uh, and this episode is Can You Hear Me? Now this episode I actually really enjoyed like as it finished just as, as, as I was kind of upstairs to come and record this I was just thinking about the episode more and more and it's actually like really different from most episodes in a different aspect because like the aliens and it were actually like they said they were gods which you can say that if you want. I'd say that they're basically the aliens. The old guy can take off his fingers and stick them in people's ears, which could make them have their nightmares, which is freaky. And basically, the bad people, the bad people in there, were trying, were basically getting people to have their worst nightmares. But uh, the episode was basically about conquering your nightmares. I feel like it was basically about like, like conquering your nightmares to like. May stop being afraid of him anymore. I really liked this episode, man. Like, I was watching it and I was like, oh, this episode was pretty good. But then I just came up like, oh my goodness me, this episode was pretty good. Like, it's not the, the, the normal, like, Doctor Who or stopping aliens running away f f from, from stuff. It wasn't really like that. It was about, like, con it was, it's, to me, it's more like conquering your fears and talking about things. Because it showed, because, like, it was, there, there was a tiny bit of depression in it. Like obviously, like not like obviously, it doesn't make you feel sad at all. But it's like if you have like depression or something, talk about it. That's basically what it was saying. That's basically what the episode was saying. It was very different, but it was still bringing it into like a Doctor Who aspect and with like an alien and trying to like get people messed up. But it did it in a very interesting way. The Doctor, of course, was, was, I found it as good as always. Wait, um, there's nothing I can really say about the Doctor, of uh, uh, that uh, the Doctor's as good as always. Obviously, he didn't really take in the, a bit of the Timeless Child came in, which was very interesting. I have no idea who the heck this Timeless Child is, but I'm very looking forward to finding out. If you haven't already found out, which I don't think you have. So I, I like how the Doctor. So it showed like a bit of the Doctor's fears, which I really enjoyed, which I really thought was good. And uh, it, of course, showed like Graham, Ryan, and Yaz's uh, nightmares, which was again phenomenal. And then, like, also, it showed their friends' fears and uh, how they were trying to get each other to talk about it and uh, to, to, to try and conquer that fear. Because there's this girl in there who had a fear of these big monsters uh, and she was scared of them, but, uh, but like, she conquered her fear and decided to control these monsters. And that's basically all I got out of this episode. The companions I thought were good. I thought the companions were good because, like, I feel like nobody really. It's like it was a very different episode, and I like it when sometimes episodes are different. It's just like to, to sometimes go away from the Doctor Who experience to something a little bit more different is good. The alien just the, the old guy literally just like taking off his fingers to stick in people's ears to show nightmares. That's that was freaky. I didn't much. That was like Ugh. I don't know. I didn't really enjoy that part. So he was using their fears against them to make them basically live in a life of absolute badness. And once it was done, they were talking about it. They they're like, no, I have to conquer this fear. I am gonna talk about this, and that is just amazing. Because the bad guy was also saying, like, c c c humans are basically... Uh, he was, like, saying, oh, the humans are bad and all that. They're, 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 they're weaker. But the doctor came came to him and it was like, uh, the, the humans are magnificent. Humans strive to be greater. And, wow. I just... I'm actually shocked. I'm actually, like, really happy about this episode. So... This episode was, of course, a, a shocker to me because I thought it was going to be nothing like this and uh, I thought it was going to be completely different, but man, I like this. I liked it. Because, like, cause, cause, like cause last year I struggled with depression and, uh, well, I've broken out of it now. I've, I, I'm out of the depression. I'm in a much better place with my life. So, I, I, like, I wasn't in, the, in, in a bad, bad state of depression. I wasn't in, like, the very bad state, but I did have depression. So, I was feeling low all the time. And I was cutting people off. But, but I'm in a much better place now. I know how it feels. Uh, and obviously I don't know how worse it, it could feel. But I know like the lower levels of depression. And I know how it feels. So just to watch what people were going through. Was just really powerful. And uh, obviously like what I'm doing now. Makes me much, much happier. 
this, uh, but yeah, that's basically the majority of the episode. This guy was making these uh, people have fears. Uh, the doctor the went to try to stop these fears. That they used the fears against them to make them have their fears, which was an interesting way to stop them, make them t have their fear, because they were going down to the planet to have everybody have their nightmare. But uh, it turns out the doctor was like, "Hey, no, you, you are gonna have your nightmare, and you're gonna be trapped in this ball forever." So that's them gone. So I like how the whole episode was based around the Doctor stopping them. I actually quite liked that. At first, I was really like, "eh," but then I realized what the. But then I, my brain was like, "Actually, this episode to me is showing a bit of a different message," and that's to me basically what all the episode was. And there wasn't really much other to the episode. So rather than that, it was just about like fears and conquering your fears and talking about it. That's literally that's like what the episode was, and I really enjoyed it. All the characters were, that I thought were good. I thought all the characters were good, and that's all I really have to, to have to say about it. There, were, again, the the finger parts, and like this guy literally had a wall made of fingers. This guy literally had a wall made of fingers, and that was like, Ugh. yeah, I'm not, I'm not the, much the one for spooks. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching, watching this review. That's legit all I really, really was thinking of this episode, and I really found it powerful and enjoyed it. Just flicking switch it just back there. So thank you all so much for watching, watching this review. Let me know what you thought of this episode down in the comments below, and if you got the same stuff out of it that I did, that I would love to hear your, 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 your opinions. We'll be back next week for the next Doctor Who review. Which this episode, which this next episode, which is episode eight, uh, seems uh, huh. again, I'm not too sure about how it looks, uh, but hey, I'm looking forward to the Cybermen parts. Thank you all so much for watching, watching this episode. Go and check out my other videos. Uh, let me know what you thought. If you, if I missed anything, please tell me down in the comments below. And tune in next time. Bye bye.